Hey everybody, it's Chugga Conroy! Welcome back to more Pokémon Platinum! Last time! We witnessed an explosion at the Safari Zone Great Marsh and... Beat one Krogunk in response to it, doing literally nothing to the greater Team Galactic! Then, instead of progressing with our adventure, we head out and off to Route 212 to see a lot more Pokémon for our Pokédex! We are really bad heroes! This time, we are at the Pokemon Mansion at the end of Route 212, and I will finally show you what this item was! Those of you that also have OCD, I am sure I tortured you with that at the end of the last video. Got a green shard! Definitely always welcome. It'll help us in teaching some more moves. And that repel from last time more up. Nothing over there. Okay, well let's just head on inside! So, Pokemon Mansion. I like the music here, even though it's the same as the Route theme outside. Can't get wrong with Route 209. What are, what are you doing? The expensive looking book Mr. Backlot has! Hugs my my attention. Mr. Baglot is the master master of this mansion. This is his office. So uh, how about we go in and see the man himself? Hello, hello. Welcome to my opulent mansion. There is a lot for me to be proud of inside and outside of this home. But what makes me most proud is my trophy garden in the back. Why bother traveling afar when Pokemon are attracted to my garden? They come to me in hopes of seeing the garden. You're welcome to join them and marvel at my garden. I don't know if I was going for Cockney accent or singing badly, but <laughs> Master is truly a wonderful and generous person. It's his orders that the garden is his pride and joy. It's open to all, even trainers. So we can go into his garden and catch Pokemon. He will- <laughs> Okay, that's pretty funny having a rich guy with like a huge honkin' mansion have swagger in his room. Helps your opponents attack two stages, but makes them confused. It's a double-edged sword, it can be really jerkish under certain setups. Man, now I'm stuck just thinking about the Stadium 2 announcer and how he's all like, Look at that swagger whenever it's used. <laughs> anyway, there are a lot of Pokémon in Route 212 that are worth your time to see in the trainer battles. There's also some here at the Pokémon Mansion, like Mr. Backlot was telling us. What is more interesting, though, is that there is one encounter that shines above the rest. You can try battling all the trainers in Sinnoh, you can try never using any repel so you run to everything in the wild, and you will never see this unless you check this book. Manaphy! An extremely rare Pokémon that has never been seen, let alone captured. In Sinnoh! Those Pokémon Rangers in their regions find them all the time. There it is! It has been registered in your Pokedex! Manaphy is our very first legendary Pokémon that is not ambiguous in any way! It's outright a legendary! It has the awesome ability of Hydration! As if it wasn't already good enough in having its water moves boosted by rain, it also has that ability. It is one of only two Pokémon, the other being Volbeat, that can learn Tail Glow, the special counterpart of Swords Dance. But if you don't want to buff your own stats, that's okay. You can always steal the buffs of your opponent with its signature move, Heart Swap. Too bad you won't be obtaining it. Manaphy is, in my opinion, the rarest Pokémon as of 2016, or rather as of the point of this being recorded. You can only find it one of two ways. One is by doing a Wi-Fi event in Pokemon Ranger 2 or 3 that is no longer going on as the service has been shut down, so that's out the window. The other way of legitimately obtaining it is to get a cartridge of the original Pokemon Ranger, finish the game, input a code that was given out on Pokemon.com quite a few years ago, which you can still find if you do a little bit of digging, but the real kicker is that Manaphy distribution for that is once per cartridge. Not once per save file, per cartridge! So, good luck finding a used copy of Pokemon Ranger that hasn't already had its Manaphy redeemed by some person that has owned it in the past, cause, yeah, that is the only way you can still get it. Thankfully though, with the Pokemon 20th anniversary this year, later in 2016, it will become easier to obtain for the kids of today. So, darn kids these days will never know my struggle. <laughs> so, back out into the... Mansion. I almost said Great Marsh. I'm just so used to talking about that place. Let's head out back to the Trophy Garden. Look at those encounters! If there is something you've been wanting for a while, odds are you can find it here. It is great! Okay, I can't do this. I have to stop past me with some post commentary because I go on for like a minute about how wonderful the Trophy Garden is when, as you can see, Pikachu and Pichu are the only two new encounters. Look at those encounters indeed! 
The reason why I thought this is that the Trophy Garden later on in the game has daily encounters that switch out, so you want to come here each and every day. I thought that quite a few more new Pokemon were available even without that feature open to us than there actually are, so no, there's not really much of anything special that we can find here. I ran into a Pichu first crack, which is the most common thing here, at least tied for it, so that's kind of not even good. In my defense, though, I did always think that was kind of stupid that the Great Marsh has daily encounters from the start, but this doesn't. Especially when a lot of those daily encounters are things in the Sinnoh decks. Very few of them aren't, actually, but oh well. Back to live commentary. What do you say? I'm not loafing. I'm just taking a personal break. It's my official policy to sleep in a bed while I'm officially loafing. <laughs> Man, like, this game is not letting up with the really fun text. I love it. You know to catch Pokemon in the Trophy Garden? You put this on a cop Pokemon, it warms you up faster. I'll share with this, give it a try. Soothe Bell! Dual Soothe Bells, not bad. I mean, we've had one for a while now, but that's definitely not bad if you're trying to catch them all. It would make getting a lot of happiness evolutions easier. Get a Luxury Ball for that. That is the same as a regular Pokeball, but similar to the effects of the Soothe Bell, it will raise a Pokemon's base happiness as soon as it is caught if you catch it in that. Now! Make sure that you have a good Pokemon in the lead, preferably one that has a good fighting type move. Because, wow, I can't talk to you from the side. Apparently you're just too hoity-toity for that. Here you may challenge the mansion's pride, five trainer maids. Challenge is to beat all five of us in a row without taking a break. In addition to beating us, if you can beat us in a specific number of turns, there will be a special gift, not a spe 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 specific gift. <laughs> can't even say it. Incidentally, a turn of first number of time for a trainer and the opponent to each make an action. So it, it takes a complete turn. Using a, poke using a Pokemon move, using an item, or switching will eat up a turn, of course. Da -da 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 -da. They feel the need to explain this. The five made knockout exact turn attack challenge. Championship edition. The target number of turns is five for today, so you can challenge these trainers once a day. It is a source of easy experience. Favorite color is blue, I'll open with the proceedings. We have to beat these five trainers in only five turns, one-shotting their Pokemon. They will all use Clefairy. This is going to take us a little while, and because it's going to take us a little while, I thought it would be nice if we went over the encounters in the Trophy Garden while doing this challenge. You see? Gotta be efficient. Well, um, I already failed. Well, I knew Vacuum Wave was low on power, but I didn't think it was quite that bad. <laughs> I'm gonna reset so I don't have to wait a whole day to do that again. I might be a patient man for berry farming, but I'm not patient for much else. You know that. Wow. Resetting was very worth my time because now the target number of turns is nine. I'm very glad that I did that because I didn't actually know that you could reset to change the number. I thought it was decided upon just the day switching over that it was on not RNG, but it was fixed. So on this day, it will do this. Wow, that is very valuable knowledge. Now onto the bios. The first of this dynamic duo of new Pokemon is the mascot himself, Pikachu. It's a pure electric type, which is always nice. It's very fast and actually, even though you are seeing the stats of Raichu on screen, there are legitimate advantages to keeping it as just a Pikachu. It has a slim chance of holding a light ball when caught in the wild, which will double the attack and special attack stats if it remains a Pikachu. If you do this, it will be slightly slower and less bulky than Raichu, but it will do more damage. It might be worth considering since stone evolutions cease learning moves by level up, and it does get the move Thunderbolt at 26 and Thunder at 45. All nice moves to naturally have if you don't want to spend those TMs. Second is Pichu. It might seem like a completely useless encounter on the surface as why would you catch a baby Pokemon when you have the evolution right there in the same area? Pichu, however, does have legitimate advantages to raising it over Pikachu. It is able to learn Sweet Kiss, Nasty Plot, and Charm through Level Up. These are all moves that Pikachu is unable to get, and if you want any of those, it might be worth your time fussing with that happiness evolution. On top of that, we did just get a second Soothe Bell, so even if you're already raising a Pokemon that evolves through happiness, it's not gonna conflict with your plans as long as you pick that up. It's great. It's up to your discretion, though. There's advantages and disadvantages to both sides. And also advantages and disadvantages to not evolving your Pikachu. You'd think they'd make the mascot Pokemon a lot more simple to raise, but yeah, that's two decisions you'll have to make when raising it. 
It's over. I have beaten your challenge. Target number was nine turns. I did it in five. I am perfect because I have the most powerful magic of all on my side. But friendship? No. Not friendship. The ability to manipulate space time. What amount of friendship is going to beat that? Oh, uh, wait. What? Wait, what? 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 It doesn't count if I beat the target number? But the target number meant that I had to do it either equal to or less than. It's a darn good thing I can manipulate space time. I can actually recommend saving before doing this and resetting, because that is darn right cheap if they're making you do it in an exact number of turns and they give you endure. What would happen if my target turn was five and just one of them used endure once? Sixth time is the charm. That is so cheap that they have endure in their move sets. I, I guess they have to make it challenging somehow, but like they use endure at the worst moments. I actually recommend resetting to get this because trying to do this once a day and just getting dicked over by endure at the last second, it would be so annoying. Uh, wait, battle our very own prodigy master Liam. A trainer would come here and pull me into battle. I never experienced oh. this, but maybe I will enjoy. Wow, what am I even doing? Never mind. I am going way beyond making fun of accents and just sounding really stupid myself. Blissy, whoa! That was a cool Pokeball animation. I might have to just copy that for a uh, Supernova at some point, even though I really like that black hole it's got going on. Uh, Blissey, you have 10 defense. You are not going to survive this. So goodbye, as much as I would love to. I guess this is 10, oh, look at that HP. Ugh. Oh wow, it actually didn't, oh, flung a rare kit. Wow. It threw a rare candy at me. That's how you know you're a rich ass. I will damage you by throwing a rare candy at you. So th that HP scrolling. In fourth generation, not only is the battle system kind of slow, but the HP scrolls down at 30 HP per second, one per frame. For those of you that have played competitive battling in fourth generation and have been like me who has one shot a perfect IV in HP Blissey. 714 HP. Sitting there watching that scroll down, even if it's your own Blissey, is the most painful battling experience of the fourth generation as a whole. Ugh. Ask you not to pry into what I'll be I'm doing in the back of the mansion. This knowing wink is all you'll get out of me. Your splendor is authentic. Sweeping the floor with five maids wasn't enough for you. Oh no. Why I think you would triumph over even our master Liam. Please visit That's all you get. I suppose if you have switcheroo or something like that, or trick, you would be able to get that rare candy off that blissey if you outspeed it. So, that's technically a good reward, but I don't have any such move. I did have the ability to learn trick back in the uh, mansion, oh. but I guess this will just kind of teach you that, hey, maybe you might want to do that. I did not mean to walk in between you two. I was trying to talk to that guy. I did not want to do a double battle, but I guess I'm doing one anyway now. That is everything we can do at the Pokemon Mansion. I wanted to fight the trainers that are outside the mansion now, cause this guy has a print plup on his team. And I know that I said last time that it is getting very technical that you would pick a Chimchar and not evolve it so that makes them a trainer of interest, but maybe you might pick a Piplup and not evolve it and that's a different thing, right? Right. Oh boy, I am very happy that I Use Leaf Blade on that print pop now, otherwise this could get really bad. Helping Hand, you sacrifice your turn to make your allies attack do double damage in a double battle. Don't need to do that. All that is left is the Siamese Twin. Let's see what Metronome gets us. I was kind of wanting Supernova to fight that army of Clefairy, but... Conversion. <laughs> I have an Electric-type Clefairy now. <laughs> okay, that's kind of funny. Uh, vacuum Wave, sure, because I can. Why not? Stab Thunderbolt. <laughs> this is just fun. I, I love playing off of whatever it gives me. Let's see if a Stab Thunderbolt is enough to overcome the resistance. I sound like I'm like uh, some kind of political leader when I say it like that and in that tone. That's all. What? Over already? Well, that's fine. Rich people like me don't fight. 
<laughs> oh, how terrible of you. 8,640 Pokemon dollars. Color me rich. It's not a color, but um, point is, we thought it was late enough that you wouldn't fight me. What I was wanting to do was go out this way. I think there might be a hidden item in here. Let's check, just so I'm not fumbling around and wasting everyone's time. Okay, no, there's not. So there we go. Wasted three seconds of your time instead of potentially 12 minutes of your time. I would not put it past me whatsoever with how anal I tend to be about getting items. <laughs> Speaking of being anal about getting items, things they hide behind cut is great, isn't it? Can go back I need to surf for that. Wow. Uh, I do not have the... I do not have the survey chip. Sunny day. Okay. I'll gladly take that. And... I'm just gonna go back this way. What do you say, actually? Mr. Backlight of the Pokemon Mansion looks forward to seeing visitors. He must be able to wait around because he wants to brag about something. <laughs> he just sits in his house all day waiting for random strangers to walk into it so that he can be like, Oh, hey, you're here. Let me brag to you about how awesome my house is. A spare berry? I guess if I got two of them, I really did pick up a spare berry. <laughs> uh, I'm just dumb. Talk to you! If it pleases you, may I challenge you to a battle? It does indeed please me, good sir. Let's get on with it. Gentleman Jeremy has a chat out on his team, making him yet another trainer of interest and another trainer that loves using ball capsules. Night Slash, why not? Night Slash is such a weird move. I like it a lot. It's, I'm not talking about its effect, but the Japanese name for Night Slash, of all things, it is the Japanese word that is used for samurai having tested out the sharpness of their blades on random passerby out in the countryside. It's, yeah, it's really, really creepy when you think of Night Slash like that and how they localized it into that. It's really strange. Uh, you... Circle Pad! I was going to say that Gentleman Jeremy is the last trainer of interest on this super long stretch that is Route 212. Also, I have not verbally acknowledged it yet, but Northern Route 212 has separate encounters from Southern Route 212. Just wanted to say that. It's not your imagination or anything like that, even though I'm sure it's clearly marked whenever I get around to editing this, but still. You need to look away. Thank you. And you, there are good trees that you can slim here with honey and some you can't. What you saying, it's a bad tree. If you need an attractive tree. Kind of great. This, I believe. Yes, Heart Home City. We have come full circle at long last. There is no more Route 212. That is such a huge route. They went through all the trouble of making that. All for it to be blocked off by inconsiderate reporters in one half and then be not required coming the other way. So back in Heart Home City, there is something really minor that I want to do while we're here. I know it is not Poffin Blending. Why? Because that's getting shown off next time I have a guest. Why would I have a second person for that? Well, I'm running out of things to show in multiplayer, okay? There's a lot of modes, but some, you know, are not as big as others. I want to go walk in Amity Square for a little bit. Let's take Bodhi now that he is a Torterra. So this is kind of neat. But, um, this is a really tiny thing that bothers only me. It is the fact that, look at this. See when I turn around? That's fine. It's side sprites. The tree always faces the camera. Its sprite is mirrored. That has always bothered me. As somebody who thinks Torterra is underrated and has used it in a few playthroughs before, I just always get so bothered by that. When it comes time for me to walk through Amity Square, I, it's to the point where, no joke, unless I'm specifically trying to get an item that only Torterra can get me, I will switch to another Pokemon to walk around with. How about we see you while we're in here? Get something for our item. Nommelberry. Just kind of hoping for something a little better than that to get on screen like I did before, but oh well. Uh, Bodhi, do you have an item for me? No, you're sniffing the grass. You must have a really good sense of smell to be smelling the grass from up here. What do we get? A Wadmel Berry! Wow! Okay, that is rare. That is one of the best berries for contests. Bodhi, I love you. Oh, Bodhi, you have been so much better lately. You weren't really doing so hot in battle there for a while, but then you evolved into Torterra and, well, you sucked for one battle, but then you you got your stuff together. You, you really picked it up. And now, after all those battles that you did well in after Crash Awake, 
You do this. This. I don't even think I have any Wat Melberry shamelessly bragging as I scroll slowly down. No, I didn't. Oh, that is great. This is a really cool looking berry too. I like it a lot. Fun fact, watermelons are actually classified as berries in the real world, so there being a watermelon berry is very applicable. It's 9.8 inches in diameter. Some discovered that exceed 20 inches. Well, I, I guess Bodhi's no miracle worker. You gotta wonder, I know that it's a bonsai tree that he's got in his back, but you really do have to wonder if maybe he would have something that might grow on that tree on his back and maybe you get berries out of him that way. That's everything I wanted to do in the immediate area. Oh, wait a minute. I do not want to go off to Salacion Town. I do not want to do that quite yet. Well, maybe I did because I got to water my berries and make them all happy. So we'll do that. The thing that I really want to do is that after beating Crasher Wake and obtaining five badges, now that we kind of have a bit of a clear break in things, I want to head back to Jubilife City. Because as you recall, we were told that we want to go back there Next time, or next time, next time that we have five badges. Well, after how many Pokemon Let's Plays I've done, it sure feels that way sometimes. <laughs> we want to go here now that we have five badges and get ourselves an all new Pokech app. What do we get? Hi, hi. I'm the president of the Pokech company. Hi, hi. Your patience is rewarded. I developed a new Pokech app. The Link Searcher. Link search determines the availability of wireless hotspots. I think it'll be useful to know how many people are communicating, like in the union room. So, this item. If you happen to be in a populated area, like say a gaming convention or some place like that, or Japan, you can tap right here and it will tell you if there is any kind of wireless activity. Anybody that is playing Pokemon nearby. So you can see how many people are in underground locally without having to actually go underground and look for them. You can see if people are currently in the union room, if people are looking for battles, or maybe they're just playing some other mode in general locally near you. It's really neat actually. I like this feature a lot. It's very thoughtful. It's just that you'd be very hard pressed to find anyone on it in the present day. So it's kind of sucky now. I guess while we're here, I might as well play the lottery. I know I'm just kind of dawdling a little bit. Oh. I guess I did that off screen last night and didn't remember it. Well, never mind. I guess I won't dawdle and waste your time. Curse is foiled again. With that done, now we can head to Salacion Town. Because there are a few things that I want to do here other than just simply progressing on the main pathway. It is that we have five badges now, and because of that, I think shop inventories have updated. Let's check it out. You on the right, you have Ultra Balls. Those can get very expensive, and I, I much prefer Dusk Balls and Quick Balls to them because they are cheaper and really, really good. Might want to stock up on some if you have a tough battle coming up. I think I might buy a few. I already had some of these from doing the uh, daily side quest for the newspaper guy here in Salacion Town. He gives you a lot of really good balls. Nothing, nothing, okay, I guess just Ultra Balls. Not a big deal. So, uh, that's everything we have to do here in town. Salacion Town, aren't you so glad that they made this place? Let's head to the North Route 210, and the Psyduck. They're standing firm. They aren't inclined to move. Well, maybe I'll just incline them. Actually, that sounds like a much better idea, just pushing them over like dominoes instead of using this thing. <laughs> they're cured of their chronic headache. Say, 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 and because we did that, we have Cynthia come over. Yeah, we use the secret potion. Psyduck are known to suffer from chronic headaches, but no one's been able to figure out what triggers the headaches. Uh, perhaps Kingler clamping on its head? Wanted to live this old turn to my grandmother in Celestic Town. Ah, so where's the Pokemon between here and Celestic Town? So it'll be worth your while to go. Sure, I will do anything for you. We get the old charm. But Cynthia, my opinion of you, a bossy atmosphere about your grandma. I'll recognize her right away. Uh, she's at the Elder of Celestic Town. Location, look at her time map, you can't miss it. Cynthia, my opinion of you is still, like, loftily above anyone else in this world, but it's lowered just a teeny tiny bit. It, maybe it's not Olympus Mons now, but more like Mount Everest, because I can see that you had an ulterior motive. You're like, hey, maybe you should go use that medicine to cure those Psydex headaches so that you can open the way to run an errand for me in Celestic Town. But because she's Cynthia, I'm more than happy to do that. Anyway, 
we have done a lot here. We have seen a lot of new Pokemon. We did a lot at the Pokemon Mansion. We took care of some side things, got a new Poketch app, and we have now cleared the way of those Psyduck. Next time on Pokemon Platinum, we're going to be heading north towards Celestic Town. See you guys then.